In this unit, we will review the nine parts of speech into which all English language words are classified. Noun is a word used to represent a person, thing, or idea. Example, reading daily with patience will get Martha a good score. In this example, Martha is a proper noun, patience is an abstract noun, Reading is a gerund in a verb form and used as a noun, and score is an uncountable noun. Pronoun is a substitute that replaces a noun. Example, Tom is a little boy who lives next door. He greets us every morning. In this example, the word he used in the second sentence substitutes the noun Tom and hence is a pronoun. An adjective modifies a noun or a pronoun. Adjectives give details about the noun or pronoun in a more precise manner. Example, a towering dark figure followed the young woman into the darkest alley. In this example, the adjectives towering and dark explain the figure, the adjective young explains about the woman and the adjective deserted explains about the alley. A verb is used to denote action or a state of being. Example, Tara is the student I talked about yesterday. In this example, talked is the action verb and is is the auxiliary verb or linking verb. An adverb is used to modify a verb or another adverb. For example, he is reading very slowly. In this example, slowly modifies the verb reading and very modifies the adverb slowly. A conjunction connects words or phrases. Example, Robert likes cream in his coffee and Raj likes it black. In this example, the conjunction and connects two independent clauses. Robert likes cream in his coffee with Raj likes it black. An interjection is a word that expresses emotion or an emotional state. Example, oops, I spilled the milk on the rug again. In this example, oops is an interjection or an exclamation used to express a minor mistake. A preposition is used to connect a noun or pronoun to other words in a sentence. For example, Maya is running after a cat. In this example, after is a preposition that connects the nouns Maya and cat. Articles are also called determiners since they introduce a noun. There are three articles used in the English language, a, an, and the. For example, an innocent man paid the price for a rich man's folly. In this example, the article an introduces innocent man, the introduces price, and a introduces rich man's folly. Next, we will look at the approximate frequency of occurrences of these parts of speech in the English language. Not surprisingly, nouns make up 23% of the words followed by 18% of verbs, 15% of prepositions, 12% of articles and 11% of pronouns. Adverbs make up around 8% of the words, adjectives about 7% and conjunctions about 5%. Interjections make up less than 1% of the English language text. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. For more details, visit our website leximagic.com.